can still see how tight that trap is. When I pull back like that, I still see that she's tight. So I know that it probably needs more work up through there or more work through her shoulders because when I'm trying to pull, it's still a bit stuck. I don't get the fluidity, fluid movement yet. <laughs> She's so cute. Again, when I'm doing traps here, what I like to do, just relax that shoulder, is to be able to move that up. Because I've found a lot of people, first thing they want to do is push down like that, and then stretch down. Yeah, it's working. You want to eventually get to that, work along like that. But if she feels like a rubber band, and I'm going like that, I'm meeting a resisted, stretched trap, and I don't want that. So. Also, what's she doing here? She's rotating inwards a little bit, which is going to engage her anterior delts. So what I do here first is just... Can, can you... Yeah. Do you want another pillow? No, I'm okay. Do you want? Okay. Do you want no, no, that's fine. Sorry. Cool. So I want to be able to get that back. Her natural position's like this, and it's going to make the trap harder. As soon as I move that back, I have a bit of a softening. So from that position, I would then bring her up a little bit controlling the tone mm. and eventually I want to get that back down I want to open it up but I want to be able to sink into the muscle first yeah? really important just learning how to use the body and have it in the right position that feels good and I get the maximum amount of release I might even bring her right up a little bit I feel like that's a good position at the moment I'm going to work on and then when I get up there I'm going to stretch her out. Okay. So use that 